My name is Pascal. I began walking into a candy store and getting a free test taster from a, another Melbourne based business. The next thing I knew I was talking to the boss and he asked if I wanted to work for a part time position. That led into full time, it led into management and the next thing I knew I was somewhat new too much as a, an employee so I decided to venture off in, in small business and um, create the Red Balloon Candy Artisans back in 2006. The last design that we did was a picture of a Santa Claus. Uh, it's coming up to Christmas now. It's just a process of cooking up all your rock candy in, in your ratios of sugar, water, glucose. We boiled that up on uh, big strong burners and got it up to a rock temperature of about 160 degrees. We then added our flavours which have no colour. We then added our colours which have no flavour according to the design. And from there we're just kind of cutting, pulling, stretching, shaping, moulding all by hand, so it's, there's no machines, it's all 100% handcrafted. So yeah, we're just building up the eyes now, we're going to put the little, little cheeks, cheeks under the eyes, if that makes sense. And then we're going to put the nose in between the cheeks. And we're going off a design, so we, we have something in front of us where we're looking at and we're looking at that design, but we're building it three-dimensionally in a three-dimensional form out of the candy, so it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And that process took us about one hour, which is a very complex design. So yeah, it's an interesting trade. Well, it's not really a trade, it's just, um, there's no schooling for this style of product and you kind of end up getting a lot of um, sort of overseas people going, oh, we want to do what you do because um, there's not a big industry for it. Five, ten years ago, there was nothing. It was all just that traditional sort of Blackpool Rock, Brighton Rock style of business. You're building eyes, nose, rosy cheeks, beard, uh, the hat, the pom-pom, the ears, the outline, and you're building that design in about 12 kilos of candy. From there you extrude it, it's still warm and soft. and from there it cools down into long rods. And then from there you chop it into small bite-sized pieces. Artisan, I think, is um, just a really nice sort of descriptive word of what we do, um, it's making something by hand and a craft by hand. We've branched that into probably, I would, I would say maybe over 50 products that we do, uh, so, and another 50 up our sleeve. 